What's going on guys? I'm Simple Simon. Welcome to Simple Unboxings, or should I say, one of the top five unboxing video series in the comic book community. The comic book award nominated show, Simple Unboxings. That's how I should say it. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you guys who voted for me for the comic book community awards. I really didn't expect that because I was saying, you know, I don't want you to vote for me if you guys, you know, just to be my friend, you know, I want you guys to vote if you actually think that, you know, I make good videos. So anyway, um, today I've got three packages to unbox. I've got Nao K. I have got a Grail uh, that might complete all the Grails I ever need, and I also got a uh, CGC grade reveal. Quick shout out to my Sominions. Your support is greatly appreciated. If you're interested in exclusive members only videos, extended episodes of the noob and exclusive emojis, hit the join button to find out more about channel membership. But remember, your membership is not required. The best way to support the channel is by liking and commenting on videos. Perks. We're gonna start with the AOK. -okay. Um, this comes from uh, one of my channel members, um, Ash. I'd never met Ash before. Ash literally, I guess we met through him commenting on my videos, but then uh, at the last Yarraville Pumpkin Toy Fair, I actually got to meet Ash in person. He came down, he bought a few books off me, uh, but he's always been um, very generous. He reached out to me once after seeing one of my videos saying, hey, I just bought a collection and this book was in there and I saw that you wanted that book in your video. Do you want to buy it off me? I was like, yes, how much? He said, 10 bucks. I was like, 10 bucks? I'll take that book all day for 10 bucks. Um, this book here, he charged me nothing. He actually has an eBay store. That's how he funds his hobby. He basically buys collections and just sells. And it's all a bunch of different stuff. So he's got a lot of uh, just run fillers in there. He's got a few keys sprinkled amongst all the comic books. He's also got like DC and Star Wars toys in there. So um, I'm gonna leave a link to his eBay store in the description below. If you guys are local, check him out. His Fire Comics, because the prices are fire. So yeah, check out Ash's um, eBay store if you're interested uh, in checking out what he's got. So this book here, I mean, you could almost call this a, um, I mean, it's almost like a kiss cover grail, right? I've been wanting this book for quite some time and I've just kind of always been waiting until I saw it at the right price. And look, to be honest, I have seen it a couple times at the right price and I just didn't buy it at the time. Uh, yeah, it was very kind of him. He just reached out again and said, hey, do you need this book? And I was like, man, I've been needing that book for a while. <laughs> and yeah, he was nice enough to, uh, to send this to me. So all the long time Dominions know that uh, I collect Kiss Covers. One of my videos recently where I shared my Kiss Cover collection, and there was a bunch of comic books that I had, or a bunch of covers that I had in, the, uh, in that lot. And I was starting to think, you know, do these books really classify as a Kiss Cover? And even this book, I'm starting to wonder, does it really count as a Kiss Cover? You guys tell me. But here we go. You guys might have already guessed what it is, but we'll see if you're right. It's a classic X-Men cover. That's probably all I Ooh! There it is. I was gonna try to show you guys first, but I opened it the wrong way. Finally. Wow. Very nice copy as well. I'm sure you guys have probably guessed it already, but uh, you guys tell me, does this count as a kiss cover? Does it count as a kiss cover if their lips aren't touching? That's my question. Classic Rogue Gambit kiss cover. Uh, I said, I think in that video that I believe, look, if the intention is definitely to kiss, then it would count as a kiss cover. So I would count this as a kiss cover. But sometimes there's covers that people think are kiss covers when they're really just embracing. You know, they're very close, but they're not necessarily gonna kiss. They might just be, you know, appreciating each other. So anyway, uh, that is a classic kiss cover that I've wanted for a while. And shout out to you, Ashley, thank you so much. Uh, for hooking me up with that. And again, if you guys want to check out what else Ashley has in his collection of stuff that he's selling, his link to his eBay will be in the description below. All right, with that out of the way. I think in the last simple unboxing was, was my video where I picked up my first appearance of Harlequin, Batman Adventures 12. And I mentioned in that video that, you know, that is like the ultimate grail for me. It's just a book that I've been chasing for so long. I finally got it and I felt like I'd reached the pinnacle of collecting. I was making a joke, but you know, it was kind of funny to say that, right? Uh, but I did mention in that video that the only other big key that I can think of, it's not a big key, but the only other key that I don't have that I feel like maybe I should have um, is this book here. So this book here is a, I think a lot of people consider it a double first appearance. 
So my microphone transmitter ran out of battery and I recorded for 10 minutes and I only noticed when I was editing it. So 10 minutes of award-winning unboxings that you'll never see. I put on a master class of unboxing videos, but you will never see it. So I'm very upset right now, but I wanna get this video out tonight. So we're just gonna go from where we're at. Uh, the book I was talking about was this, the first appearance of Jason Todd. Now, this is also uh, the first appearance uh, of Killer Croc. So it is a double first appearance. The weird thing is, I think when you look it up on Key Collector, it says the second cameo appearance of Killer Croc. First Jason Todd, Second cameo appearance of Killer Croc. How many cameos does a character get before it's called a first full appearance? Anyway, uh, this is just a book I figured I should probably have in my collection, as you guys probably know or may not know. I'm a big Red Hood fan. Red Hood is my favorite DC character. I've got the first Red Hood. I got that many years ago, back when I was skinny. I did a video. The first Red Hood book, the, the envelope was completely bent and it was it had a completely bent corner in the book. Fantastic times. And then recently I actually picked up the first appearance of Jason Todd as Robin. Uh, Cause I thought that was a good one to get too. This is a book that it was just always a little bit too pricey for my liking. So here in Australia, I mean this book, I don't know, normally about 200 upwards. I knew if I was patient, I could get a copy from the US and send it to Bub. And I knew if I was patient, I could probably get it for about hundred to $150 Australian dollars that is. Did I forget to turn on my glasses? I should change them though. Cause I'm not as happy anymore. So yeah, I knew if I waited, I could probably get it for about 100 to 150 uh, Australian. Now my camera's running a battery. This is what happens when you try to be pro, but you're actually an amateur. But yeah, I got this. <laughs> my camera battery died. I don't know what you're thinking. You really are an amateur, Simple Simon. How did you ever get nominated for an award? But all I gotta say is, would an amateur have a spare battery for his camera? That's right. That's what pros do. All right, anyway, I picked this up for $85 locally on eBay. I couldn't believe it. The guy had it for $90, which was super cheap. I was like, whoa, I should just buy that now. But there was also best offer. So I was like, $70? Automatically declined. Uh, and then I was like, $80? Automatically declined. So I was just like, I don't understand when the sellers have best offer when they're not actually gonna give you a discount. So I asked for $5 off and I got it. So again, I wasn't even gonna complain at $90, but $85 I got this for. And now I have the first appearance of Jason Todd. So yes, this video is an absolute shambles. So the last book, a CGC grade reveal. Now, obviously I've already revealed it in the original video. So I guess I'll just tell you a bit of the story about the book. So this is only my second ever CGC submission. Uh, this book was organized by Neville, who runs Grail Hunters here in Australia. For those who don't know, Grail Hunters is a huge comic book group here. And Neville basically does a lot of CGC submissions for people on people's behalf. He often organizes like signings and things and then gets all the books graded for you. He's actually an official witness person for CGC. He can witness signatures for CGC here in Australia. And yeah, Neville's just a great dude. So uh, he organized this for me. Uh, Stanley Art Germ. Lau, is that his last name? Uh, he came down recently. Uh, we were super excited to have Art Jam here, but he was in a different state, so he wasn't here. So I sent a book to Neville for him to get signed and then sent off to CGC on my behalf, as did many people. And this is the book I sent. Since I've already done the grade reveal, I may as well show you footage of the original reaction to me seeing the, seeing the grade. So let's see if we can bring that up. All right, are we ready? Let's go. Here I am about to reveal the grade. There it is, it's a 9.8, fantastic. Oh, look at that. Look at my face. That is the face of a guy who wish he got a 9.6. There you go. So this is the book here. Uh, again, it is Something is Killing the Children, issue 36. This was the Art Germ variant. It's cool that Art Germ does regular covers. Um, they're not always ratios and exclusives and things like that. Uh, and it was hard to choose just one. He has many great covers. Uh, I always thought I would have got Catwoman issue 15 uh, signed by him. And the reason I actually didn't get that book signed was because it was on a, like a, the shiny cardstock that DC used for their variants. And I didn't think that would be a good material to sign on. So that's actually the reason I didn't get that Catwoman signed. But also I decided on this because Something's Killing the Children is my favorite comic book series. Uh, and obviously Art Germ, this is the only cover that he's done in the series. So I thought that would be a good choice. And also big shout out to Mark Cuddy-Sark who actually sent me a bunch of signed Art Germ books, including Catwoman 15. That was my CGC yellow label signed by Stanley 
art germ Lau. I was correct. And that's it boys and girls. Thank you so much for watching. If you're still watching, we got there in the end after three takes. Uh, anyone who nominated me uh, in the first round of the Comic Book Community Awards really means a lot. I do say though, I don't expect people to vote for me just because, you know, they want to support me. You know, if you really enjoy my videos, then that's fantastic. I really appreciate that. I will leave a link to the CBC Awards in the description below. Check out all the other finalists if you don't know about it. Uh, I think the first round is always more fun because you can just vote for, you know, your favorite channels. Finalists is obviously already predetermined, or, you know, there's already set people you have to vote for, but uh, hopefully, you know, if you guys check it out, you, you'll discover a lot of new channels. So uh, I think the Comic Community Awards, you know, some people love it, some people hate it, and some people don't care. Uh, I just think it's fun, and it is really a good way for you to find other channels. I'll also leave a link uh, to my fellow nominees who are in the same category as me. The other channels that I'm rubbing shoulders with in this category are Absolute Beasts, uh, DJ Links, Rob's Fat Stacks, Comic Collector Geek, uh, and Mon Comics. Mon Comics is the only channel I actually was a little bit, I wasn't familiar with, uh, so I have subbed to him now. Uh, but do check out those other channels if you do enjoy unboxing videos. Uh, like I said, uh, they have some crazy, crazy books in their collection and they do great unboxing, so yeah. Again, if you guys are still watching this, I appreciate you. Uh, if you enjoyed it, give this video a like, leave a comment, let me know what you thought of these books. And until next time, I'm Simple Simon, tell your friends and keep it simple.